this is not a test. This is rock and roll. I wake up every morning in a bed that's too small, drive my daughter to a school that's too expensive, and then I go to work to a job for which I get paid too little. Oh, this is gonna be fun. We can stay up late, swapping manly stories, and in the morning, I'm making waffles. You're waking up with the morning app on 90.5 WASU. Welcome into the show. We got a good one for you today. I'm Joshua alongside Katie and Dovey, per usual, and... This is actually going to be the last show that they're on this week. They are all headed to New York, our producer, and both of them are headed to New York. I decided to stay behind to uh, hold down the fort, of course. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. I have to make sure the show keeps running. I'm not going to abandon ship, but... Yeah. They're going to New York for the IBS Awards, in which the show is nominated as one of the best college morning shows in the nation. Yeah. So they're either going to accept the award or throw trash at people that win. Uh, <laughs> yes, so. that's very professional. That's, that's how we definitely become a finalist the next year as that, well. That's why I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, they will be gone on Friday, which means we're bringing in a whole new cast. I, I'm very excited. Um, just got to give it a little plug. We're going to have a whole group of uh, men join the show. It's going to be an all-men show. Yes. Um, oh, my gosh. <laughs> the right, morning men. Yeah, right now we're tabbing at the morning men. Oh and I, I could not be more excited. So please tune in to hear what a bunch, bunch of idiots have to say about just any topic in general. Interesting. And, and, yeah. I'll tune in for that, man, <laughs> while I'm on the bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, that's a great sell. But <laughs> with, with that, um, I know I also angered Katie yesterday. And I definitely did not mean to, but in her defense, <laughs> she really confused me. Oh I, I am a male, goodness. and I got... You confused. do have to kind of explain yourself. Okay. I, oh, man. No, 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 yes. I can that. tell the story. Okay, so I <laughs> missed the episode of The Bachelor on Monday night because I was at work. And so then I was like, all right, I'll watch some of it. Yesterday, like, we were in the station... <laughs> Lizzie was there, and then Josh came in and was watching it with us, and I, I was only able to, to watch... It. I was only able to watch the first half hour of the episode because I had to go to class. And so I was like, well, at least watching the first half hour will be, you know, yeah, decent. Yeah, like nothing compared to I know, how, I know, you know okay, yeah. It's but such a long show. I know, I know. And so I, <laughs> yeah, so I was watching it, and then Josh was like, oh, Kaylin, like, because Kaylin was the first one that she went to... Um, it was the first house that Colton went yeah. to. Yeah, yeah. And so, or the first family he met. And then For Josh the, was like, oh, yeah. yeah, she's going to win. She's my pick to win. And I was like, <laughs> and then he just kept saying it. And it was annoying me. So I was like, she doesn't win. I know that. Because one of my friends accidentally spoiled that for me. Well, see, I knew that she didn't win. I didn't know when she got eliminated. Though. And I didn't understand. And so then yesterday, I he comes through the station at a different time of day. And he's like, I finished the episode. He's like, I can't believe Kaylin got sent home. And I was like, she what? Yeah. <laughs> Spoilers, man. And then John, Dovey was down the hallway. And he was Why like, would you do that? <laughs> we were Why all screaming. I don't think anyone else was in like the station at the time. We'll Luckily, like, or they'd be like, "What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> Is the station on fire? Like, no, yeah, we, no. somebody spoiled the Bachelor." Yeah, yeah. You Josh, can't, you can't blame me. I didn't uh, know what she she told me. She doesn't win. That tells me. And so me he was that thinking she, that I yeah, I knew that I she got that. eliminated in the episode, but I didn't know that. And so well, I was I see mad. The side of the story. Yes. I didn't actually finish the episode. I made it all the way through uh, Tasia. Man, what do you mean and, you didn't finish and, the episode? Well, then it was spoiled for me the ending. So that's crazy. Yes. So y'all both got it spoiled. Yeah. And it's Pretty not, it's a bad that. episode to spoil, too, because it's not like, you know, the first episode. No, no. Because it, all those girls were, like, pretty good. I good mean, contenders. he liked all of them. Yeah. So it's at the point now, because Colton, like, er, The Bachelor, he's been very transparent this whole time, and you can kind of tell who he likes and who oh, he's yeah. going to send home. But, okay, please, what, what would you like to share, Josh? I just want to rant for a second. Oh, goodness. My my goodness! First time watching the show. You know, okay. Uh, really? First time. First You're time you were into... big oh, big time fan. Now. Um, yeah. Big time fan. You are. Oh, it was great. <laughs> it was amazing, right? Was fantastic. But how can this man 
go around and tell every single one of those girls, I think I'm falling in love with you. Every I, f- I picked the first girl because he said, I think I'm falling in love with you. Like, that's it right there. Perfect. Done no, deal. No, no, and then I see nope. the second one. <laughs> you, I see the no, second girl, it's... and he does the same thing. Then the third, no, and I'm assuming the fourth. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but that's how it is every season. They're always... Right. Um, it's always, It's like a weird concept, but they say that it's just like they have like love for each of them, but it's like kind no. of different. That's what was crazy is because... So in this episode, they're going back home to meet the, yeah. the each contestant's parents. Mm-hmm. So like watching the tension between the dad and Colton is a, is, whoo, it's crazy. I don't know what yeah. I would do in that Mm-mm. kind of situation because he has to ask, he has to ask four different dads for, for permission. permission to marry when he can't even say that he's going to actually and it's their propose first, to them. And it's their first time meeting. He has to it's tell crazy. all four dads that I'm also in love with your daughter. And it's like, you're in love with four daughters. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, Josh. This is not, this is not how society works. Okay? No, but it's also one of those things. These girls signed up for this, you know, like they knew yeah. what it was going to end up like. Yeah. And th- but they also, they were telling their mom and dad, they're like, oh, like, he's definitely going to pick me. I know I signed up for this, but it's okay. And then they get heartbroken. I'm assuming yep. that the girl that I picked yesterday to win it all was just crushed. I mean, it but was But she's probably going to be the bachelorette. Yeah, yeah almost. So. Good. Unless they find somebody else somehow. No. She's, Chloe. She'd be good. Yeah, she'd be great. She'd be a good bachelorette. Okay. Mm-hmm. I, I got a new show idea. This is, okay. this is the show idea that they should do. They should film, they should get the guy to go to these uh, parents' house like they did, and then they need to have a viewing party for the families all together in one house. So then, as they're watching, one family's watching the yeah. episode, he sees that that guy, the bachelor, tell the family, I think I'm falling in love with your daughter. They're like, what? You told my daughter the same thing. Yeah. I'm telling you. Well, they're already going to see it That's, regardless. Yeah. You know? Well, I know, but... It'd just be after say, the fact, after they had already either yeah. chosen or not they're chosen the their daughter. House, but imagine, sense. yeah, I don't think he would... I don't know if, if if he has enough bodyguards for something like that. Yeah. Ugh. Even though he's, he's a it's pretty just, big boy. It's a really weird thing. I don't necessarily watch it for that. Like, I don't really care who he ends up with that much. You know, like, that's fine. But it's more of, I just like watching the drama and, like, Attention. kind of, yeah. It's just, it's entertaining. Like, it's so funny. And so I don't, because even when, like, when they go on the one-on-one dates, it, like, they're doing, like, cutesy things, and it's like, eh, okay, oh. can we get back to the drama? Oh. Get, pan back to the other girls back at the house, like, fu- like fuming. Josh doesn't even know about the two-on-one dates. Oh. They, there wasn't a two-on-one. There wasn't? Uh, so yeah. basically, you know, you have one-on-ones. Oh. You got one-on-ones where, like, they take the girl out, and then you, they either get a rose mm-hmm. or they go home. Is pretty much just one or the other. And so when they do two-on-ones, they have two girls. One of them is going to get a rose, and one of them is going to go home. So, and they're all on a Ridiculous. date. And they always get, like, just left That's... somewhere. One time I was watching, it was some kind of deserty place. <laughs> and then they just left the person behind and, and just, then like... And they go see fireworks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, and then the other person watches. <laughs> it's... It's the best a, thing on American television. Yep. It's crazy. It's a terrible show. This man it, is leading so is. many women on. It's crazy. He's he's the nicest bachelor that I've seen in a while. He because is. most of the time they're kind of like tools. They're just boys. Yeah. This guy's just, more in tune with his emotions. Stone yeah. Cold Liar. No, he's not. He's in love with four multiple. He's not women. lying, though. Like, he's transparent. Like He looks uncomfortable. Uh, yeah. Like, he looked really uncomfortable. Yeah. Being like, dude, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, there's I'm in love other, with four yeah. other people, I guess. Yeah. Like, how can you stay, fo- like, if you get moved from one date to the next to the next, like, something's got to linger. You're like, oh, yeah. I really like that girl. And, or- it's, and it's only been like a month. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In, in that, in, in real time, in, in our time watching every week, you know, it mm-hmm. feels longer, but it's only been like six weeks, maybe four, four to six weeks yeah. or something like that. Yeah. It's, it's wild. I feel like, though, in a situation where you're in it all the time, you're like literally living in a house and like you're just Focused. constantly in this. Yeah, you're not Then it work. feels like a lot longer of a time. True. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. I couldn't do, I couldn't do that show. I couldn't be on it, but. I feel like the. A uh, bachelor's got to be way more entertaining than the bachelorette, but that's just what do you mean? Think, as in, with the bachelorette, you have one female choosing from a bunch of guys, and I'd like to think the guys aren't going to be as dramatic. Oh, they get really dramatic. Yeah, they? no, they're that. they're a bunch of babies. 
wow. it's it's actually more direct. It's really funny. Yeah. No, it's a very different thing. It's more new. I like watching The Bachelor better because I understand what the girls are doing. I'm like, I see you. I see you, you sneaky little. Yeah, maybe for, we would know. Well, for us. And so I'm thinking it would be yeah. really fun to watch The Bachelorette with a guy that could explain, like, okay, here's what this guy is oh, doing. Oh yeah. Because I love seeing the strategy. Because it very much is a game. It's like so they're consistent. trying to win. You know. Yeah. Wow. Well, we're going to have to watch that for sure. And then I'm going right. to have to watch the final couple episodes of uh, The Bachelorette. Okay. I'm just, I'm peeved at him. Yeah. He's in love with too many women. But because Katie and Dovey and our producer Natalie going to New York, we have a New York-themed music show for you here on The Morning App.
And now back to your favorite morning talk show, The Morning App on 90.5 WASU. Some controversy happened on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, so I don't know if you've been keeping up with the kind of Captain Marvel anticipation that's been happening. Hmm. But really recently, uh, there were rumors that, like, you know, kind of off the bat, there were a lot of articles saying that there were terrible yeah. uh, reviews that this movie was kind of expected to bomb. Um and, you know, it, it, it convinced me. I thought, like, wow, this might actually be the lowest score in ca- you know, Marvel yeah. movie that Rotten Tomatoes has ever had. Um, but we just found out that apparently um, this has been a result of just people writing fake reviews, like trolling around, essentially. And it's gotten so bad to the point where Rotten Tomatoes is going to have to shut down the Captain Marvel space on their, on their website. Oh, really? Yeah, and they're going to apparently revamp the website a little bit oh. because of it. I heard that they were making it so that fans couldn't review until after the movie comes out. Mm-hmm. So, Which makes sense. I don't know why they didn't have it that way anyway. That's what I've always thought. They have a, so they have a tomato meter, right? Mm-hmm. That's the that's the true that's, that's <laughs> the, the, the only true test of a movie. That is the uh, definitive like, you know, it's yeah. canon, whatever yeah. you want to call it. The tomato meter basically takes from tr- real critics, yeah. basically. And then you got the audience score, or usually like before a movie comes out, there's like a want to see mm-hmm. section. Yeah. And uh, that's what people have been messing with. They've been just saying some, you know, some people try to write like re- actual convincing like uh, reviews, and other people are just like, this is trash. It's, uh. it's so bad. Wait, so um, convincing reviews that it is bad? Yeah. And, okay. and they haven't, no one's really seen it yet, but no. it, it was affecting the score. Yeah. Basically. And, so, uh, so that that was all fake. The whole saying that it was going to be a bad right because no one's seen it yet. That's yeah. the thing. So even like critics, Wh- why yeah, would people troll yet. this? Why would why would I people? Know. I don't know. Just what, to what, see. What, it's yeah, a Marvel I, movie. Maybe a DC movie. I could it, see that. It is. I mean, but you think about it. This movie has been hyped up for so long that yeah. it seems like a like it makes sense that people would target it. Bef- it's just you know, a challenge at that point. I don't know yeah. what subreddit yeah, yeah. was like, let's try this out, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I bet it was. It seems like you something know. that... Um, they did this also. The same thing kind of happened with The Last Jedi. Um, Black Panther had this kind of issue before it came out, too. Mm. Um, so the greatest films of our time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I, yeah. I don't know if The Last Jedi is going to be... Katie, let's... <laughs> It's a classic. That's a separate topic. We remembered for the ages. Oh so different. Um, so, yeah, from now on, that want to see score and the comments are going to be pretty much disabled until the movie's the movie released. So they're making that move now. Hmm. Then you can just troll it once the movie comes out. Yeah. That's, why, why are people on the internet But it, it won't matter because they're going to get rid of the... I think they're, just, they're going to try to scrap that whole... Okay, audience just start it again. Completely. Yeah. Oh, really? So then yeah. the audience is just a critic score at that point. Well, then they might. I think I read another article that they were gonna make the audience score just smaller. It's not gonna be as oh. big. It's gonna be kind of under. It's not gonna factor as. Okay. Yeah. Um, that man. Why do people gotta ruin good things? Cause the audience score was something that was cool. Cause you could see the critics and what people, th- you know. Cause yeah. sometimes they were really different. Oh, sometimes it was important. Some- yeah, it was. It was cool to see the difference. Cause you're like, ah, uh, well, all the critics love this movie, but not a lot of people did. You know, I can make these assumptions about the movie. You know, because maybe it wasn't the best plot line, but maybe it was filmed really. When yeah, when Bohemian Rhapsody came out, I think it was actually below right now it's at sixty one percent. Yeah. Before it was That's even terrible. lower. Yeah, it was at fifty or something, like forty yeah. to fifty when it first came out. But the audience score was like ninety eight percent. Okay. Yeah. You know? And yeah. that made sense to me. I was like, I liked it. You know, yeah. if you're a Queen fan, yeah. Whatever, it's fun, you know. But, but it still won a lot of awards. Yeah, yeah, but if you're a critic and you've seen like 80 biopics already, yeah. it's pretty yeah. much the same thing. So, yeah, you know, no, but it, the, yeah, that's frustrating that they have to redo all of it just because people had to troll it. Mm. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I'm also kind of happy because now I have like a blank expectation for the movie. Because before I was like, uh, it's probably gonna be bad, but uh, I'm still gonna yeah. enjoy it. You know. Although, can you imagine if you went into it thinking it was gonna be terrible and That's then it dope. just blew you away? Whoa. That honestly is when movies are the best. Is when you think like everyone's been telling you, oh, it's not that great. Don't get too excited. But then you really like it. 
then it just it makes the movie so much better. That's yeah. how Pitch Perfect was for me because I heard how gar you know people were like, oh, it's garbage, <laughs> blah blah blah. It's nah, a classic it's movie. It's a yeah. good movie. No, and it was so funny to me. If I had gone into it with the hype that is around it now, I would have been like, eh. that's true. Sometimes you know? people overhype a movie and they just mm -hmm. ruin it. Yeah, and then you're and like, it's this a good is it. movie. The Incredibles two was like that for me. I didn't. Oh really? Yeah, I was kind of like disappointed. Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. You, <laughs> what? I thought it was good. For me. That was good. I thought it was any. I wasn't they anything. They all die at the end. Just yeah. kidding. <laughs> they all. A, the cross, <laughs> Toy Story <laughs> crossover. It's the snap. Yeah, the snap. Yeah, they all finish. <laughs> Thanos is snap. This is why we can't have nice things, Katie. <clears throat> and they have to get Captain Marvel in. Wait, isn't The Incredibles two? Wasn't it on um, Netflix or something now? It is now. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. On Netflix, yeah. Then you have no excuse. There's a lot of stuff on Netflix <laughs> that I need to be watching that I have. But no The Incredibles for, two but. is one of those that you should see. Yeah. I agree. I, either way, either way, I'm just, I can't believe we have people out here that are trolling everybody. I don't think Captain Marvel's going to be as good no. just looking at it. Yeah, no, I from agree. from the trailers, and I'm not sure about the actress choice. Maybe they had a different one, but that's just my opinion on it, that yeah. I feel I feel like she's a little... The lead is a little flat. Yeah, if you're a, a character, strong, maybe she'll be stronger, like sounding in the movie but for some reason I'm, i hear her voice and nothing against just it doesn't sound like it's a strong mm -hmm. lead if that makes sense mm. nothing mm -hmm. against her she's a great actress she's actually right. won a best actress before uh award at the oscars before but i don't know yeah i'll have to see it we'll yeah, have to yeah. see it it's just good to be at square one you know wait when is that know. doesn't that come out um, march 8th maybe uh, yeah, but that's yeah. Soon. next week yeah yeah that's next Oh my gosh. We will be able to talk about it on the Monday when we get back Ooh, from spring dude. break. I won't get to go opening night, but I'm going to go probably the Sunday before our show and watch it. Ooh. So you guys got to watch it before, but no yeah. spoilers, everybody. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. But of course, yeah, we'll no discuss No more it. spoilers, Josh. I don't know who you're directing that at. <laughs> Dovey, watch Captain it. Captain Marvel gets eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> Colton doesn't say yes to him. <laughs> All right. On the other side of the break, we have our Colton favorite Reddit segment, Today I Learned, on the morning app.
on 90.5 WASU and WASURadio.com. As fun as it is to learn about things in college, things you're going to use for jobs and whatever, sometimes it's fun to just go through Reddit and find something that you're not going to really apply in any way, but it's just really cool to learn. Yeah, so, I don't know that. Uh, we really don't. You never know. Maybe this will inspire you in some way or fashion. Who knows? But we're going to just dive right in into our Today I Learned segment. It's basically where we go through uh, one of our favorite subreddits on Reddit. Duh. And uh, it's called Today I Learned. People basically just go online, find some cool stuff, and then they share it with the world. And so I pick some of my favorite ones, and I let you guys know about it on the show. Um, so, so, okay, here's a good one. You know how people that are really rich, like Bill Gates, for example, mm -hmm. there are some people like that that will refuse to give their kids, like, a big inheritance, you know, like after they pass away, like I know Bill Gates is one of those people that's like when I when I pass away, like my kids aren't going to get selfish that much. Like okay, all of it's the, going to charity. Okay. Like, okay, maybe not selfish. To try to keep him from being, you know, try to yeah. keep him from being too spoiled. Oh, yeah, no, that makes sense. Gordon Ramsay. So today I learned that Gordon Ramsay has chosen not to give his children a large inheritance, um, and he does not take them to any expensive restaurants, not even his own, mm. and he what? does not allow them to sit in the first class section on planes so that they don't get spoiled okay now Isn't that crazy okay first off if your dad is gordon ramsay the hot tempered you know right man that he is i think you need a little something he, maybe he's a great dad who knows but probably i feel like that's just all for the tv you know it might yeah be. But, or the kitchen i mean i think yeah. like once he's at work he gets yeah. that mode and then when he's on tv he does it for well because have you seen him um he has a show with kids on it and it's night and day from oh, how he yeah. talks to adults. You know, he's like cursing them out. But then the kids, he's like, it's okay. Like, he's you can wonderful. try again, you know, kind of thing. It's like, he's really nice. <laughs> yeah. No, he's like it's, a super sweet dude with the kids. Um, that's actually more popular than the, you know, the other. Yeah. I think it was Master Chef, is what it's called, right? Okay. Master I, Chef Junior is the one with the kids. Yeah. And they it's cook. Cute. They're like prodigies. They're like six years old, yeah. seven years old, cooking creme brulee. Yeah. With fireworks coming out of it. It's crazy. <laughs> um, so, all right. Do y'all like Robin Williams? Love Robin Williams. Do y'all yeah. like Harry Potter? Yeah. I don't know it. You don't know it yet, but maybe Stop. you did if, if this were to happen. Because today I learned that Robin Williams wanted to play Hagrid. You know, the big Who? Okay. Hagrid. Oh, are you? You're a wizard, Harry. Yeah, yeah. That guy. He's like the big, he's like a Walking half carpet? No? Walking carpet. Doesn't he have a lot of hair? Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, he's yeah. the big, yeah, giant, like a shaggy dog, right? Just the, the. I wouldn't say that. The, well, I don't know. Doesn't he like have <laughs> a lot of hair? He's just got a lot of hair. It doesn't have to be compared to an animal. <laughs> he's the, well, like I'm trying to compare the hair coming over. Like I just feel like it's just a waterfall of hair. Is it not? It, he's, I guess he's so, got a big beard and yeah. a lot of hair. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get a comparison. Um, but I just don't like the negative. Well, pair, like it wasn't negative. The negative comparisons, okay? Okay. A carpet, a dog. He has a lot, Come of, on, I mean, man. A lot of hair. His hair is hair. glorious. <laughs> um, but yeah, so he couldn't do it though because there was apparently a only there's a British only rule. Oh. Like they they wanted to, but I think they were like, no. we need we need to be British to do this movie, and so he didn't get the part. So they wanted so all of the actors in Harry Potter are British. They don't sound it, do they? Most. Oh yeah. Oh, I, or, I at least it. for I, but that But you can role. fake an accent, so I, mean, I wasn't sure. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. And some just... of them don't have accents, like they don't really sound like. I don't know. It stinks. I was like, man, I just yeah. try to imagine. But see, at the been. same time, Robin Williams, I don't know he puts so much of himself into roles sometimes mm. that I don't know. I don't know. He plays some it serious would, roles too, though. Yeah. I mean, it would. It would just kind of change. I don't know. It would distract me, I yeah. think. I'd be like, it oh, would, Robin Williams. Instead of seen as, like, Hagrid, then yeah. it's, you're seen as Robin Williams. And he did such an iconic yeah. job with that with that role. Um, here's another really weird one that I, I ran into. So today I learned that in the late 80s, uh, during a visit, or during, while he was visiting a zoo, Mike Tyson offered the zoo a zookeeper ten thousand dollars to open a gorilla cage 
So he can go in there and fight the gorilla who he what? noticed was bullying all the other primates. So like Mike Tyson? He'd yeah, win. he'd win. Apparently Mike Tyson's like <laughs> who a really would win? <laughs> he's, he's like an animal lover. He's like a real softy for animals and so he <laughs> goes into a zoo and this one gorilla kind of like natural you know yeah. g- they fight for being the alpha yeah they one of the gorillas was apparently like picking on all the other gorillas and like beating them up and so mike tyson while he was at the zoo was like i'm gonna give you ten thousand dollars to open up this cage let me in and fight this gorilla did he no. oh no <laughs> yes, <he did. laughs> no but you didn't let him Wow, I don't think it would have ended yet, dude. He would probably get killed. Yeah. I don't know. Would he would he? not have. Yes. What do you think? Yes, he would have gotten mauled. Because that it's thing, a, it's a gorilla. It's a gorilla. I mean. I don't care what kind of human you are. But it's Mike Tyson, dude. Yeah. Dude. He would just <laughs> nibble his ear. That's a what if kind of. Yeah, that is. And it, we'll never know. But we, in, know, when he was man, in his we'll prime, is the 80s, you know, this is when uh, he was like. The gorilla was in his prime probably too. <laughs> <laughs> but it's Mike Tyson. Yeah. No, there's no argument. Two different, we have two different perspectives. He's like, dude, it's a gorilla. I'm like, dude, it's, <laughs> it's Mike Tyson. Tyson. <laughs> it's Mike Tyson. <laughs> I don't think Tyson even beat yeah, his own video games. Face. Yeah, true. Oh, man. Well, that's that was that's something that I don't know. Well, that just shows a lot of confidence. Honestly, I wouldn't want to go into a ring no. with somebody who is about to pay $10,000 to fight a gorilla. No. You know? I don't know if I call that confidence no. or stupidity. Yeah. But. And he, he wasn't doing it because, I, I don't I mean, that's the thing. He wasn't doing it because he wanted to see if he could do it. He was doing it because he felt bad for the other gorillas. Aww. And he was just trying to be like, yo, let me open up this cage <laughs> so I can go in there and beat up this gorilla. Oh, my gosh. That's- the lisp. <laughs> That, but that's nature. You can't. That's crazy. You can't get. Into yeah, I mean nature. that is fair. You like, I don't know. If they are trying to become the alpha ones. Yeah, I, I would. I mean, I don't. It's think he just gonna keep that. happening. Yeah. That's just that's the way they do it yeah. over there. If you're an animal lover, you don't go and beat up an animal. Uh, well, it's just one of them. Yeah, I that's guess fair. Just, <laughs> I, that's what's confusing. I don't know. Yeah. He, he's yeah. a very interesting guy. <laughs> he is. You know. <laughs> That's an understatement. For but sure. we appreciate his, you know, his, the effort. Yeah. To stand no, up. It, and, the effort was there for sure. That would have been. You know. And now sh- we have this great story to tell. To what, what is it? Thirty years later, almost. Yeah. Yeah. Oh goodness. It was in the late eighties. The eighties was a long the time. Eighties are about to be forty years ago in a year from mm, now. The, or like the year like nineteen eighty will be the forty years from now. I don't like that. Whoops! I, who, just, who just carries around ten thousand dollars in their pocket? At a zoo. Tyson. In his zoo. pocket. He keeps that in his gloves. <laughs> in his gloves. That's where the padding comes from. We got relationship talk on the other side of the break.
And now back to the morning app on 90.5 WASU. What is love? So believe it or not, I was at the library a couple days ago. I have not been what? to the library in a long time. What were you doing there? Actually working. Wow. Because I had to. I had to lay everything out on a table, so I got like a giant table, laid everything out. Nice. I was at the library. It's been a while. It, it has. I, I was parked right up front, so I saw everyone coming in and out. People get loud in the library. Yeah, they do. I don't think you're supposed mm. to. Second floor? It's like a daycare, dude. I was, I was <laughs> on the daycare? first so I don't go there. Wait, what? The, the, the second floor is way too loud for me. See, but I feel like the third floor is too quiet. Yeah, then. yeah, no, you get up the, to the third floor, and it's like... Is the first floor just like right? A, you, you ever, you ever a watch A Quiet Place? <laughs> 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 it's that. <laughs> but you're studying. Yeah. The librarians just kick you out, throw you off the third floor? Yeah. No, it's just it's too just... intimidating to, like, you try to say, like, even whisper something to someone, and they, like... Everyone turns all, You hear all the heads pop to the left. <laughs> yeah, no. Even when you open the door to get in yeah. there, it's like... <laughs> you drop something, <laughs> it's over. Pencil. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. Scary. Well, I was on the first floor, and it was loud, but it was also quiet, so... That's a good... Yeah, you know, yeah. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the yeah. good balance. I, I was by the desk, and I was just doing my homework, and then out of the blue, so, you know, I noticed this one guy a little bit earlier go up to the desk, and he was asking about a book, asking uh, this young lady was at the desk, and a student. Young I'm lady. I'm young, assuming. Young, young, I don't, young I, I, missus. I don't want to call anybody out. With not been some, wet yet. Some girl was at the desk from, um, I'm guessing she's a student here at, uh, at App. Mm -hmm. And okay. this guy comes up, asks her about maybe where's a book or something, blah, blah, blah. She, she helps him. They, you know, they laugh a couple, you know, a little bit, yeah. and then he goes mm -hmm. away. Then later he comes back, and, like, I notice, but I'm just doing my homework. And then I, I hear him, he's like, oh, he's like, Thank, thanks for the help, and here's my number. And he slides uh. it, and he's like, thanks for the compliment earlier. Here's my, here's my number. And then he just turns around and walks away. But he uh. does this at the front of the, and I immediately look up. I'm like, oh, hello, here we go. And... <laughs> She, he did this in front of the girl, like to the girl. Yeah. But there were like her adult supervisors right there oh. too, oh, like three no. of them. So the second he walked away, like her face just went red, yeah. and they're yeah. looking at her like just like whoa, like I can't believe that. And she's fiddling with the card like the rest of the day and yeah, everything, yeah. like with the little piece of paper with the number on it. But what a move! What a bold move by this individual. I don't know if it was the right time. It wasn't bold enough though. Yeah. I agree. That's the problem. That's, that's what we're going to talk was, about. Yeah. It was, it was right on the edge of bold, but it wasn't quite there yet, and it was a good effort, you know, but... So, Dovey's on the same camp as me, that um, you, don't, you don't write down your number and then just... No, pass no you it see, to a girl. The, way, the way Josh was talking about before this segment, he was, you were implying that he just left the number without her knowing. Like, oh, say that she no. had walked away for a second oh, and he put it there. That's that not was, what happened. No, 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 but see, him actually going up... And going through the effort of being like, here's my number, but then walking away. You're already out there. You're already like, okay, we're going for this. I'm going to ask her out, basically. Give her my number. But then you don't follow through. You're like, I don't know. And that, yeah. you might as well at least talk to her a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, no. And say like, when are you free? Or so, I don't know. Just yeah. some kind of follow-up while you're already out there. Anything, because then you have no control. You're just like left behind a note. And yeah. Then, you know. What are you going to do? Well, that, if you leave a note, you don't get the heartbreak of it, basically, because if you're like, okay, she contacts me, yes, I got a date. If she doesn't, yeah. you're like, okay, yeah, I guess she didn't like me, but no heartbreak <laughs> here because I was just giving her my number. That's, uh, yeah, I think, it, well, was he kind of like a, was he a freshman, sophomore, younger? Maybe. Because, I mean, maybe he's just, you know, freshman. I don't know, just going for it, just trying to. He was confident. It was a get more. good, like, loud voice in the library. Okay. I, I mean, it got my attention. See, I would just, yeah, I don't know. I wanted to watch more. I wanted her to, like, run for, out from behind the desk be like, wait, wait. <laughs> it just starts raining outside yeah. the library. Like, Inside the library. I've worked it this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I've kept your promise buried in my backyard. <laughs> I'm but sorry, what? <laughs> what movie have you been watching? <laughs> do, do, do. I don't know. It sounds like a romantic theme. That's that sounded Jurassic like the Park. Jurassic Park. It is. It is. I couldn't think of anything else, but... <laughs> the Jurassic... Well, you That's know, kudos... the most romantic theme. <laughs> kudos to him, though, for just... Now, I guess... out there. I guess she gave him a compliment, because he, 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 he started it with, thanks for the compliment, here's my number, and then split <laughs> it to her. 
Yeah. So maybe I don't. I don't know what the compliment was. I wasn't listening enough. If I had known that he yeah, was going to do that, it? yeah, I would have. Kn- maybe it was like, oh, I like your shirt or glasses or something. I don't know. But if it was like, yeah, pretty eyes. That that would oh, it's a big that one. Is a... That would justify just like, yeah. hey, here's my number. I don't, yeah. don't got time. That justifies proposal. Because you could, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just proposal get, instant marriage in a month. You know, with, <laughs> while you're in love with four other women, yeah. uh, like The Bachelor. You know, it, it, it makes more sense. It would make more sense if like she gave a really clear signal, yeah. and they both know that she's working. Yeah. She's in a library setting. Maybe he just rolls up and he's like. Hey, here's my number. I see that your supervisors are yeah. literally right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't really have hmm. time to chat. Yeah. But we know what's up. Okay, that would make mm-hmm. more sense. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, the stars don't align right now, but we can chat later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, I just think for, I, I don't like the whole leaving a number and then if it happens, you, you got to ask in person. I you got to say a little bit more. Yeah. 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 Something no, like, they're, yeah, because like, they're, hey. It's just so hard to read a person to you over text. Mm -hmm. So it's, before you'd want to go on a date with someone, you kind of want to know who they are, like a little bit at least. And it's hard to get that over text because you just really don't know the person still because they can put on whatever persona they want to over text. They could be playing too. They could, I mean, people do that where you like slide them the number and then they might just jokingly (laughs) give give like a random number, like a SWAT team. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Any like, SWAT team don't really don't happened, do that. It does, it does happen. But mm, you know, you should go back around the same time during the week and see if. Uh, well, I am yeah. actually probably going to go back today. See if <laughs> <goes> <laughs> <just> <laughs> well, keep us updated if it happens yeah. again or like. We should get him on the show. I don't think he's going to. We show. should get him on the show. Get him on the show. Give him the. Confess. Get an interview. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was going on that day? Yeah. <laughs> what was going what through your you mind do? at that moment? <laughs> I should have chased after him, shook his hand, been like, "Bold move, sir. Bold move." <laughs> from the from the morning man, we salute you. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I just thought it was interesting. I'm glad that I. I mean, it was a, it was a bold move, not the boldest, but I, I did. I was proud of the little guy. The mm. little guy. I, I call her guy, little the guy. Big, big boy. Big, yeah, the big guy. <laughs> the <laughs> man. We're wrapping up the show on the other side of the break.
And now back to your favorite morning talk show, The Morning App on 90.5 WASU. We're wrapping up the show, and like I said, no Dovey or Katie or our producer Natalie on sad. Friday. Mm. So I sad. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to make it. R.I.P. It's going to be a rough day, but we do have <laughs> myself and three other men coming uh -oh. in to men. the show men. on Friday. Wait, his voice like <laughs> lowered an octave. Yeah, we have good, right? I, I can do the low voice. I can be a man. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh my I always God. have to be high pitched. You need to get those... Um, the, what was it? Um, the seaweed mustaches from oh, the, the SpongeBob No, movie. you need the anchor arms. Oh, you yeah. remember the anchor oh, arms? Oh, yeah. The, in, yes. the like, inflatable muscles that you... Yes. You, the, and he, there's three settings. There was, like, oh, yeah. ripped, <laughs> super ripped, and then hairy. I think, <laughs> oh, yeah. Hair comes oh, yeah. I got to do the hairy yeah. then to be an yeah. actual man. Man. Yes. No, you need those for sure. You need okay. to come well, in as Vikings, like just dressed as up. As Vikings. <laughs> what was it? Hinga dinga dergen. Hinga dinga dergen. <laughs> We've been coming up with uh, names for the show. It right now we have. Going. Right now we have the morning men. I'm trying to. I'm trying to give this plug. This is, gonna, this is a big show for us. Okay. I'm really okay. excited for the opportunity. It took mm. a We're lot of convincing. We're just trolling in advance. <laughs> yeah. The, you don't know how much convincing this took because I remember the first time that I brought up an all men show to Katie and our producer Natalie, and they went off. I did not feel like a man after that because I got. I got. <laughs> in my place let me tell you <laughs> you what? really honestly I, you can't ever people always try to come in me and natalie's like little office and nate's in there too yeah. but nate usually just is at his computer he just knows yeah he's like eh, i'm not getting involved yeah, that's yeah, and yeah, then yeah, natalie right and i'll just like swivel around in our chairs and be like no <laughs> hold on <laughs> let me explain why and just yell if you have a even remotely stupid idea that you want to bring to katie or natalie don't do it in their office <laughs> no especially when we're both in there together because we'll just like i don't know somehow just like band together. Well, this is your chance, man. Yeah, I, it this took is your a lot. chance to say anything that the morning men would say. <laughs> They're not going to be here. They're going to be. We're all going to be like. Yeah, that's Miles true. away. All we can do is just blow up your phones. Yeah, so it'll be my last show, most likely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the end of it. Either way, yeah. it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're gonna uh, hopefully, Katie and Natalie will come up with a relationship topic, and uh, us men will talk about it here on the show and give us our thoughts on said relationship topic. Uh, the other topics are up in the air right now, so we don't we don't know what we're going to talk about. But I can tell you, it's going to be very manly and it's going to be very, very intellectual. Man. Are you kidding me? Get your tank tops <laughs> out, bro. You know, just get your morning pump. <laughs> Welcome to the morning, man. We are taking other names as well. <laughs> yeah, because morning men's the best one we got. Everybody is going to have either an accent or just no. A, I need accents. A voice drop. Can we know? get some British accents? Some like. Australian. I can maybe try and get my voice a little bit lower, but <laughs> the that's, morning man. No, that's, that's how you talk it. the whole yeah. time. Yeah, an octave lower than your actual voice. Thank you for listening to the morning app. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We're doing good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to okay. be great. Okay. It's going to be crispy. <laughs> crispy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but please, tune in on Friday. It's going to be a great show, and then we'll welcome back uh, Katie, Dovey, and Natalie all on the Monday after spring break. But tune in Friday. We'll see you then.